who has known command. Right. With the proper advisor at his side, of course. Of course. You lied, Hal. To yourself, most of all, you are a parasite. Perhaps. But it has served me so well. Of course. You should have you left when you had the chance, Warden. Hello everyone, welcome to the Yaki Ham Sandwich channel. I'm Yaki. So we are continuing on in the city of Denarim. I'll try my best to get all the side quests done and find out what is going on with the alien age. With that said, let's game. I guess I will look around. You know, I could get to like this. The last time I came to Denarim, I stayed at an inn so filthy the bed bugs had fleas. What say you? Care to answer some questions? By all means. Actually, what is your opinion on the Dalish? I know little enough of the Dalish other than the fact that my mother was one, or so I was told. She had fallen in love with an elven woodcutter and accompanied him back to the city, leaving her clan behind for good. And there, of course, the woodcutter died of some filthy disease and my mother was forced into prostitution to pay off his debts. Oh. All this tale in the book. That's horrible. Is it? It seemed normal enough a tale growing up. No different than the other elven boys in the whorehouse. I didn't know my mother either, of course. She died giving birth to me. Aww. My first victim, as it were. We were all raised communally by the whores. It was a happy enough existence, ignoring the occasional beating. Until eventually I was sold to the crows. I brought a good price, so I hear. That sounds so sad, though. That is his life. Even with the life that he has, he seems like a genuine, kind person. I mean, he is an assassin, but that's just his job. And that's and yet, you are oddly cheerful about it. It could have been much worse. It, Shall I yep. tell you about what happened to the other whorehouse boys who did not fetch a decent price with the crows? Surely your life has not been so idyllic. People like you and I are not the product of happy lives of contentment, after all. Mm, you can say that again. My original point is that my mother's Dalish nature was always a point of fascination for me. Through all the years of my crow training, the one thing of my mother's that I possessed was a pair of gloves. They were of Dalish make, I knew that much, and beautiful. I had to keep them hidden, of course, as we were not allowed such things. Eventually, they were discovered and I never saw them again. Oh no! You know what, I regret not taking him to the Dalish camp. But how do you feel about the Dalish in general? I don't feel anything about them. Oh, we heard about them in the city. Even deep in Antiva. I even had the notion once to run off and join them. Naturally, the reality did not live up at all to the fantasies I had constructed as a boy, staring at those gloves. But such is life. Come, enough talk of the Dalish. Let us move on. Hmm. I guess this is like a new campsite? This is a nice change from having to sleep in the woods, isn't it? Something I can help with? Yes. Do you know anything about this place? Denerim is Ferelden's most important city, yes? This is the seat of power, the jewel in the crown of the king. She is Ferelden's heart. Her walls are strong, but within them lies so much beauty, just like the country and the people. Ah. Who's this guy? I hope all the accommodations are to your liking, Warden. Please let me know if anything is troubling you. Oh, thank you. The free marches. Where is everybody else? I would like to talk to them before I go. Uh, maybe they are at other doors. Oh, that's not a door, that's a mirror. What, what is this? Who are you? Excuse me, I have to dust the Isle's sitting room. Are you from Denerim? No, I'm from Redcliffe. Lady Isolde brought me here to be her chambermaid last spring. I have family here, though. I beg your pardon, sir, but I really can't be seen standing about. The housekeeper will have my head. Good day. Dang. Okay, well, I shall not keep bothering you. Ah, Warden. I trust you've made yourself comfortable. Yes, it was very nice, thank you. Good, because it's likely to be your last rest for a while. This is Elena, she's... 
I am Queen Enora's handmaiden. She sent me here to ask for your help. Or perhaps the young lady prefers to speak for herself. Hmm, why does Loghain daughter ask us for help, though? The Queen. She is in a difficult position. Oh. She loved her husband, no? And trusted her father to protect him. When he returns with no king and only dark rumors, what is she to think? She worries, no? But when she tries to speak with him, he does not answer. He mm. tells her not to trouble herself. Are you saying that the queen believes Loghain killed Colin? My queen suspects she cannot trust her father. And mm. Loghain, he is very subtle, no? But when and how, he is privy to all the secrets and not so subtle. So she goes to how? A visit from the queen to the new Isle of Denrum is only a matter of courtesy. And she demands answers. I guess that didn't go well. He calls her every sort of name, traitor being the kindest, and locks her in a guest room. Uh, Loghain would allow that? King Kaelin was like a son to him, and Loghain left him to die. Does he love Anora more? Who can say? I think her life is in danger. I heard how say she would be a greater ally dead than alive, especially if her death could be blamed on Arl Eamon. Well, would Loghain kill his own daughter just to frame Eamon? That's crazy. We may have no choice but to trust Anora. The Queen is well-loved. If Loghain succeeded in pinning her death on me, I'm not sure that's a risk we can afford to take. Okay, you're right. We have to help then. I have some uniforms. I'll how hire so many new girls every day. A few more will not cause much stir. I will show you to the servants' entrance. We must slip in and out with my Queen before anyone is the wiser. I will go ahead to House Estate. Meet me there as soon as you can. Okay. Guess we have a plan. Rescue the Queen. The door. Oh, this is nice. No. Oh, Alistair. Meditation and arts to the bees. Weird. Hey, I haven't been here in a while. They've changed the dining room. Ask away. I have of some course. questions. What is it like to be a Grey Wharton with all the others? I didn't know them for very long. But I guess it was longer than you. You never met them all, did you? They were quite a group. Actually, they felt like an extended family since uh. we were all cut off from our former lives. We also laughed more than you'd think. There was this one time... Well... You probably don't want to hear stories about men you didn't know. <laughs> that's that's what military felt like for me. You know, you have this group of people that understand your work. Most of them actually are into anime and gaming. So the group, it's very tight-knit because we all in the same unit and we all work together. I miss that sometimes, the camaraderie, especially when you're in a good unit. Um... Weren't there any women? Not as Grey Wardens. Not while I was there. I saw pictures of some, though none of them were as pretty as you are. <laughs> there was one Grey Warden who came all the way from the Anderfels. What was his name? Was Gregor. Gregor. He was a burly man with the biggest, fuzziest beard you've ever seen. And the man could drink. He drank all the time, but he never got drunk. Finally, we all made a pool to see just how many pints it would take to put him under the table. <laughs> Sounds like you had a lot of fun. Sometimes. We were kin of a sort. All of us had gone through the joining, so we knew... Well, anyhow, it doesn't have to be deadly serious all the time. Mm, anyhow, we yeah. never did find out. Gotta have he fun sometimes. He said he'd drink a pint for every half pint that the rest of us drank. He was still going by the time the rest of us were passed out. <laughs> I'm told that Duncan walked in later on and saw us all passed out from one end of the hall to the other and Gregor <laughs> still drinking. <laughs> Duncan laughed until he nearly... Well, I'm sorry, this must be hard for you. Yes, I... I suppose so. I thought I was done with this, but... It just struck me that I have nothing to remember Duncan by. Nothing at all. There's no body, not even a token of his, that I could take with me. That must mm. sound really stupid to you. No, not at all. 
You have memories of him. I just would have liked something of his to take with me, that's all. Well, uh... there's no use in moaning about it, is there? He's gone. Let's just go. Dang. Alistair and Duncan, man, must hit him very hard for him to feel this way. They must have been very, very close. How many rooms are there? Morgan, Stand, Sir George. What are you doing here, Sir George? <laughs> the Bannon? The Bannon? This is not as defensible as I would like, but it will do. You called. I have questions. I am hardly surprised. Do you find Verodon very strange? To put it lightly, no one has a place here. Your farmers wish to be merchants. The merchants dream of being nobles, and the nobles become warriors. No one is content to be who they are. Ah. Uh, very well. I think I asked him that last as time. As you wish. Morgan. If one more servant asks if I would like a change of clothes, I will set the house on fire. I await <laughs> your command. <laughs> All right. So life in the wild has been very lonely, At yes? At times, perhaps. A world full of people and buildings and things was all very foreign to me. If I wished companionship, I ran with the wolves and flew with the birds. If I spoke, it was to the trees. But eventually you left. Such simple pleasures will only enthrall for so long. True. I recall the first time I crept beyond the edge of the wilds. I did so in animal form, remaining in the shadows and watching these strange townsfolk from afar. I happened upon a noblewoman by her carriage, adorned in sparkling garments the likes of which I had never before seen. I was dazzled. This, to me, seemed what true wealth and beauty must be. I snuck up behind her and stole a hand mirror from the carriage. It was encrusted in gold and crystalline gemstones, and I hugged it to my chest with delight as I sped back to the wilds. Ah, that's the mirror that she talked about last time. I can't imagine Flemeth was pleased. She was not. Flemeth was furious with me. I was a child and oh. had not yet come into my full power, and I had risked discovery for the sake of a pretty bauble. To teach me a lesson, Flemeth took the mirror and smashed it upon the ground. Mm. I was heartbroken. A bad, but you were just a child. And a foolish one. Flemeth was right to break me of my fascination. Beauty and love are fleeting and have no meaning. Survival has meaning. Power has meaning. Without those lessons, I would not be here today, as difficult as they might have been. Love has meaning. But you don't need to live that way any longer. Do I not? I am still an apostate mage, even if I have left the wilds. The darkspawn are yet undefeated. No, True. there is much that remains. To return to your original question, perhaps my time in the wilds was indeed lonely. But such was how it had to be. I find myself at times wondering what might have become of the girl with the beautiful golden mirror. But such fantasies have no place amidst reality. Oh, wish we can find her. <laughs> I would like to know. I think I have spoke with everybody. Uh, unless there's another door somewhere. This place is huge. Yes, this way. I haven't been to here. Oh, this is the dining room that Alistair talked about. <coughs> oh. What you need? I want to know more about you. What about? <sighs> Do you miss Ozamar? What? Miss Orzamar? Are you mad in addition to being ugly? <laughs> they treated me like a puddle fly back there. I'm That's never true. going back. <laughs> How do you like the surface then? It's sodding great. At first I was a little queasy with all that air, but there's just so much of it. No one has any know, idea right? who you are. Or what you're doing, and the ale, Ooh, who'd have thought ale made with grain? <laughs> Aye, the surface is great. It's like a big, bright world of filth without a ceiling. My <laughs> kind of place. Hey, let's go find something to kill, huh? All this talk makes my hands twitchy. 
like, oh, damn. <laughs> hey, Wayne. This is a nice estate, isn't it? What's on your mind? Why did the spirit choose to help you? I have always had an affinity for the spirits of the Fade. As a child, I never feared my dreams because I knew they were there. Ah, what about demons? I could sense the demons, too, and their presence frightened me. It was the kindly spirits of the Fade that took the fear from me. I've always been able to feel the spirits, even if I never saw them. And as I nurtured my talent in the circle, I became more sensitive. I began to notice every time I was in the Fade, whether it was in a dream or in magical practice, that I was being watched. Oh, do spirits watch people like that? I suppose they must. It is these benevolent spirits that create our dream worlds in the Fade. Sometimes I would see it, a glowing, nebulous form. Most times I would just feel its presence, gentle and comforting, but somehow hmm. alien. I think it is a spirit of faith. They have never been seen before, and perhaps I am wrong. But something tells me I'm not. It always felt like the same entity. This one spirit was curious about me and was guarding me, for want of a better That's word. That's nice. You're very lucky. There were times when I was in the Fade that it seemed to stretch forth to shield me, keeping me safe. And I think it gave me strength in my most terrible battles, Ostagar being one of them. Ah, uh, so this spirit of Fade is a personal protector. I don't know why I was chosen. Perhaps it knew that there was something more that lay in store for me. Maybe. I like to think that I was given a rare chance. And I'm going to make the best of the time so generously given to me. I'm glad you think traveling with me is worthy of your time. I will not lie motionless in a bed with coverlets up to my chin, waiting for death to claim me. That is not the death for me. And no, so I will fight alongside I. the Grey Warden and help prepare her for the task that is yet before her. So you had better listen to me. Because I swear, if I should fall before the end and you don't seem to be doing things properly, I'll get up again to give you a good finger wagging. <laughs> I'll hold you to that promise. You know, I think you'll be all right, even without my help. Oh, I think I will too, but it's nice to have her around. She's like a mother that I never had. Hello? Hello. A chest. I could do that for you. Thank you. It's done. There's nothing happening. And so here is the mighty Grey Warden at long last. The crows send their greetings once again. And where oh. is Zevran? I don't see him with you. How very disappointing. Can we just get on with this? <laughs> yes, by all means. I simply wish to say hello to an old friend. Here I am, Talisan. Oh. Tell me, were you sent or did you volunteer for the job? Oh ho! And he makes an appearance. I volunteered, of course. When I heard that the great Zevran had gone rogue, I simply had to see it for myself. Is that so? Well, here I am, in the flesh. You can return with me, Zevran. I know why you did this, and I don't blame you. It's not too late. Come back and we'll make up a story. Anyone can make a mistake. Well, Zevran doesn't need the crows any longer. No. Does Zevran need to live? I suspect I will manage just fine, Talis. <laughs> right. I'm sorry, my old friend, but the answer is no. He's gonna I'm open not a coming business. Back. <laughs> and you should have stayed in Antiva. Oh, we're gonna fight, I guess. Indeed. Yes. Oh look, the more fun to be had. Down middle, shall we? I'm going to enjoy it. Not right there. You know what? Being an assassin, they should just assassin me. Like, why waste time fighting me this way? I don't get it. Let's get started. Kill him. 
Aw, man. Why are you running away, bro? No quarter! <laughs> no mercy, God! He is dead. Well, they're all dead. That's that. And there it is. Talison is dead. And I am free of the crows. They will assume that I am dead along with Talison. So long as I do not make my presence known to them, they will not seek me out. Ah, that's a good thing, right? So you can be whoever you want. A very good thing. It is, in fact, what I had hoped for ever since You're you free. decided not to kill me. I have enjoyed our company, but I am wondering if it is not time for me to leave. That would be the practical thing to do, no? There is a freedom awaiting me that I have never known. But I suppose the decision is yours. Will you let me go? Yes, please. Be free. Go find your own life. He had such a sad life. It's time to find his own. I would just say something nice like this, but like, if he would like to leave, he can. Do you? Hmm. I suppose there are worse things I could do with my time than save the world. Don't let me keep you. Go if you like. Then allow me to express my appreciation for your help. It has been a most beneficial arrangement. Until we meet again. Perhaps under better circumstances next time, yes? Yes. Be well, Zervand. I'm so glad he is able to find his own life. I'm also glad that before he left, I got to give him a gift. What's going on here? The servant's entrance is on the other side of the house. Okay. We must slip past this cloud to reach it. We will have to be very careful. Al how is inside. What's the crowd gathering for? The estate is in poor repair. The new owl, he has not been very prompt in paying his workmen. I oh. will be right behind you. No, Carpenter's Craft Hall has had enough of house conveniently busy schedule. Okay. Not a good guy. Don't pay people. Oh, what's this? Can I go? Oh, I guess not. L root. Creeping around down there. Go check it out. Enemy Where? What? <gasps> Someone is Ow. coming. Let them come over. Oh, she's scared. Let's get started. Let's make this quick, shall we? <laughs> Uh, and then that guy's all the way down there. I was hoping he would come over so we don't have to go all the way back. Dang. All right. Show back you. Right. On it. <gasps> hey, <sighs> Where are you guys right. coming from? This should be easy. Yeah. Yeah. You're That's fine, Alistair. Okay. <laughs> You're good. Okay, let's get the L root. Um. Ooh, pumpkins. It's almost Halloween, guys. I can't believe how much time have passed and so fast. There's another one. Where should I be going? Ooh, a sack. Iron ring. I can distract oh, no. the gods, but you must move quickly. Okay, why bother? There's only two of them. More gods patrol every hour. If they find these two missing, they will know... How you say... Something is amiss. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Wait, we need to put on our disguise. Holly, my lady does not have much time. Okay. <laughs> Are you all prepared? I will go distract the gods. 
Okay, well, let's go. I will lure them into the courtyard. Wait in the bushes. Wait in the bushes. Uh, right here? Is that the bushes? Oh, no, 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 no. I had to go around. Right here. These are the bushes, right? Th these bushes? Oh, you must come! I saw something! A burger fountain! I think it was a dark spawn! Dark spawn? They will drag us all underground to be eaten! Should we call for help? Did you fall off a cart full of stupid? Call for help? So they can see us act like scared little girls because of some knife-eared wench? They will eat us all alive! Please, get help! <laughs> if there is something out there and we don't sound the alarm, we'll look worse than scared. And trust these holy knickers. Fine, we'll check the courtyard, if it'll keep you from wetting yourself. But there's nothing there. Thank you. Oh, it was over here. Quickly. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's go to Al's estate. We are now in Al's estate. Oh, it took me forever to be rid of those two. You must be careful now. The servants, they will not look closely at anyone in uniform. All guards are alike to a cook, no? But you should not draw attention to yourself. Most okay. of the guards are new. They will not know you for a stranger at a glance. It is best you keep your distance from all of them and try to blend in. Where's your master? She's in a guest room of the main hall. Andra, stay guide us. Alright. This kitchen is a disgrace. How did the old old servants ever cook anything in here? I guess no we don't said the talk to anybody and just leave. I mean, just go, not leave. There's a lot of stuff around here. Okay. Just, um. I remember this place. Okay. Three nuts. Well, we know it's not much. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Ah, oh, I wish I have Liliana with me. Nope, do not talk to them. There's no reason to. Let's go. Oh! I thought I was. I bumped into somebody. The clay warden is here, my lady. Thank the maker. I would greet you properly, but I'm afraid we've had a setback. What? What kind of setback? My host was not content with leaving me under heavy guard. He sealed the door by magic. Why didn't you mention this before? I did not know. There were only guards here when I left. We must get her out of there. Don't I mean, panic, Morgan. Elena. Find the mage who cast the spell. He'll most likely be at Hal's side. Fine. So much for sorcery. Well, I if mean, he secrecy. didn't know you were here, he soon will. Well, fine, I'll be back. Thank you, Warden. My prayers go with you. Tell how will probably be in his rooms. They're at the end of the hall, on the left. <sighs> okay. I'm going the right way. Avoid everybody. Avoid everybody. Don't talk to anybody. Just, just go. Okay, right here. Everyone's at dinner. Don't. <laughs> this one. Okay, I'm, I'm in, I'm in the right place. Oh, wait. Let's open this door. What? Who goes there? Damn. What the heck? Not creepy at all. Oh. 
I thank you for creating such distraction, stranger. I have been waiting days for the opportunity. You welcome? Do you think you could Alistair? Is that you? Who Wait. I do know you. You were at my joining. He's one of us. A warden for Morlay. Jada, oh. I think. Or was it Monsama? I'm afraid I don't one remember your brothers. name. I'm Riordan, senior warden of Jada, but born and bred in Hyever, and glad to be home. Why did the owl capture you? With an offer of hospitality and a poison chalice. I was fool enough to think Logain didn't yet know who I was. Mm. What are you doing here? For the most part, attempting to hold my tongue. I was sent when we received no word from King Kaelin as to the outcome at Ostagar. The uh. king had invited all the wardens of Orlais and their support troops to join him. Right. Then nothing. Are these your papers? Yes. These are my records. The names of the dead I could recognize at Ostagar. What I could find of Duncan's own recruitment records. Copies of the joining ritual I rescued from our Denerim vault. Those should never be seen by any outside eyes, but I trust in their encryption. All right, the joining ritual. Do, can you induct other Grey Wartons? Would that I could, for Ferelden sorely needs them. But for the joining to work, the recruit needs not only fresh darkspawn blood, but a drop of blood preserved from an archdemon. Ferelden's mm. supply should have been in the vault, but it was gone. I can only imagine someone took it out and Loghain either confiscated or destroyed it. Of course. Then we need to get it back? As you know, the joining's chance of success is slim anyway. Loghain True. has done far worse to the Wardens than cut us off from recruiting. And from the rumors flying through Denerim, removing him from the throne is already your plan, no? Yes. Where's Hal? I saw him go into the dungeons. He may still be there. Right. Which one is a more important question to ask? Why don't you come with me or how large the force did you bring with you? I'm, I'm more curious on the second one. We had 200 wardens and two dozen divisions of cavalry. That's a the lot. The first we heard of Logain's edict was when everyone was turned back at the border. That was when the rumor reached us that wardens were being blamed for the massacre. We mm. finally decided it was safest to send someone alone to learn how best to fight the Blight and this regime simultaneously. Right. As a native Ferelden, I volunteered to make the crossing. But the Archdemons is nearly here and we have no help? The other Wardens won't risk their strength fighting Ferelden's civil war. If they spend themselves <laughs> yes. against Loghain, there is truly no hope. They recall accounts of the First Blight, how many cities fell. If Ferelden is too foolish to save itself, at least, we'll be ready when the Archdemon leads its forces further. Besides, I hear you haven't been doing badly at raising an army yourself. But perhaps if the edict can be lifted, I will send a message as soon as we are gone from this place. Okay, well, he has 200. I have a few. Maybe it's enough. Okay, why don't you come with me? I wouldn't be much use to you in my current condition. And if you'll pardon me, I have a sudden desire to breathe some free air. <laughs> I will seek you out later. That's fair. After I find a good physician. And good luck. Thank you. Sister. Brother. <laughs> uh, okay, he was there. Uh, I went out over here. Oh, he's in a dungeon. Let me see if there's anything in here. The, ooh, this is a torture place. Dungeon. I guess here we go. House guard. Who goes? Oh, quit kidding around. You know me. You think you're clever, do you? Anybody tries to come in here without house say so, we get to do what we like with them. I think Great. we've finally got a bit of entertainment here, lads. Warden Center, as you wish. This should be easy enough. Let's get started. Hey, this should be easy enough. Let's get started. Alistair, please don't die. Right. On it. Right. As you wish. 
Off I go. To heal. Very well. There we go. I healed him. Let's grab some stuff. Nope. I don't think so. Dang, I wish I can I, I brought Liliana with me. Right. Okay, let's go through this door. Oh man. Done. As you oh my god. On it. Alright. Warden. Okay, let's not open that door. Over here. Oh, oh, Mr. Right. Let's get started. Just die already! Don't I have another ability that I can use? Yeah, maybe this? Assigned... Oh, that, that's just threaten. Or Zerg. to go well well the Hello gray there. warden i must say i'm surprised eamon would condone you invading my castle and murdering my men is he losing faith in the persuasive powers of his land's meat logain's plan start talking logain's plan is to save ferelden from real threats here and now and after certain upstarts are brought to heel, he will end the blight you go on about. Something your pathetic order of second sons can't seem to get done. Ferelden needs a king who has known command. Right. With the proper advisor at his side, of course. Of course. You lied, Hal. To yourself, most of all, you are a parasite. Perhaps. But it has served me so well. Of course. You should have you left dirty. when you had the chance, Warden. Slunk off to the Andervels to hide with the rest of your kind. This land's meat is a farce. Logain will triumph, and you will die. Warden sends his kingdom.
Now that he is dead, I need to get stuff in his bo body, I guess. Oh, he's not dead. Make a spit on you. I deserved more. Wow, even in his last breath, he said he deserved more. <laughs> Owl's how key. Awesome. Alright, let's let's keep going. Let's save the queen. Make it have mercy on Make oh, it have mercy on your faithful servant. Make it have mercy on your I faithful can't save servant. him? Aw. Done and done. Oh, I I have the key, so what? Make it have mercy on your faithful servant. Okay, I, it's open for you already, guy. Uh, I guess I had to go back up, maybe. Is there anybody I can free? Okay. Ah, main floor. Task complete. On to the next. Oh, that's where I came. This one says main floor. Maybe I can go up this way. Right, let's go find Finished. the queen. Let's go find the queen now. Uh, no. Maybe it's this way. I got the key. There you go. My thanks. Wow, she is so tall. Actually, in real life, that's how I look at people. I always look at people like this. <laughs> Aren't you a little short for a guard? Look, she is giant in, in the nicest way. Well, let's go, I Thank guess. You. I'll trust you to lead us safely out. If house people find me, I'll be killed. And my people will insist on escorting me back to the palace, where my father may also have me killed. That sucks. <laughs> Alright, let's go. All we have to do... Warden, in the name of the Regent, I am placing you under arrest for the murder of Rendon Howe and his men-at-arms. Surrender, and you may be shown mercy. Oh, I'm, I will stand down. You don't know the whole story. Why stop now? Calthrian is all that stands between us and freedom. Are you sure this is what you wish? While killing them just reinforced Logan lies about me. I'm surprised this ended peacefully. Bring the wardens. Logan doesn't care about the rest. <sighs> Eamon, we have a problem. Today. We have more than one, I think. Calm down. What has happened? The wardens have been captured. What? How could this happen? Never mind that. The question is how to free her. Surely you mean them, Your Highness. We need Alistair too. Yes, of course, I meant Alistair too. Calthrian will take her to Fort Draken. Getting in will be no small feat. We have such much more important things to do. Oh my god. What the hell? Well, I guess they stripped me naked. Oh, you're awake. I was starting to worry. Are you all right? I've been worse. I'll be better still when we get out of here. Well, let's try to get out of here. Let's try to escape. I hope you have a plan. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, I don't really have much of a plan. <sighs> Dang it. Fickin' illness. Help! Someone, help us! My friend is dying! <laughs> What's the matter with you? Jump the guards. Oh, trying to be tricky, are we? 
Right. On it, as you wish. <laughs> really? That's all it took? Uh, that wasn't so bad. I guess not. But now we have to be very careful, don't we? Can we save these people? Oh my god. I guess they're dead. Right. Can we get it a close back? This is weird. Yeah. <laughs> Thank goodness. Metal door. Is anything in here? Nope. At least I have Alistair back. Oh. I have to be careful now. Dang dogs. You had it coming. Let's get started. There. Let's keep going. Okay, now where should I go? This way. Oh, wow. Fire arrow. There's something guard uniform here. Put on the uniform. Maybe we'll be seen as the guards. And what is this over here? There's so many doors. What's the password? Oh, damn it. I don't know. Rosebud? That's kind of fruity for a password, don't you think? Blighted green recruits. Nobody gets through without it. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Fruity, that's funny. What is this here? Made a corporal by now. You never see them stuck polishing the rust off the armor. I don't really want to talk to any of them. In case they like recognize me and I die. Um, I guess I keep going straight down the hall. There's one more metal. Oh, it. Wait, actually. What's this? Ah! You must be the new recruits we were expecting. Yeah, sure. You're late. The rest of your patrol is in the storage room. Find them and get yourselves ready for inspection. Did you need something? I was told we should get ready for inspection. Thank the maker. What are we going to do about him, though? <sighs> is there some problem? So the assistant quartermaster is a little miffed with us at present. I told you we should have put those potatoes in the cellar straight away. Some things went amiss. Mistakes were made. The quartermaster got chewed out by Tern Logan, and then he chewed out the assistant. And now to get back at us for landing him in trouble, the assistant quartermaster won't give us our blades. And you can't right. pass inspection without a regulation sword. Well, can't you get the officer to sort this out? It's uh, probably better that the officers know as little about this as possible. I ah. told you those potatoes were going to go off. But he doesn't have any beef with you. Maybe you could talk to him. Okay, well, I guess I'll... Fine, I'll handle him. He's down the hall in the armory. Make her help us. Right here. Right, this is the armory. Maybe this guy? What's this? You two blighted fools make a new friend? I, I got orders to get them ready for inspection. Well, I hate to break it to you, but they're never going to pass inspection. You better go to the colonel and ask for a posting into a new patrol. Uh, but if they go on patrol, they, they may get hurt, even... Killed. Or more likely, they'll just go for a stroll through the countryside and come back. You might as well go back to cleaning up your mess. You'll get nothing from me. Don't bother. 
Don't bother me. I've got work to do. Ah, maybe I should have bribed him. But fifteen sovereigns, though. We're never gonna leave this fort, you know. We'll die in here. Did you need something? What are you doing? We've been ordered to get this room cleaned up. So the colonel can eat off the floor if he wants to. <laughs> <sighs> Such a military potatoes. thing. Back to work. <sighs> <sighs> can I go out this door now? No, I cannot. I need to go to the main hall. Riches all the way down here. And I think I turn. Yep, I turn here. What's the password though? What's the password? <sighs> Open sesame. Oh, that's just being silly. <laughs> Light is green recruits. Nobody gets through without it. What's the password? Uh I forgot the password. Light is green recruits. Nobody gets through without it. What's the password? I'm atta I'm attacking. Prisoner on, <laughs> Prisoner on the loose! Prisoner on the loose! Mongrel! Right then! Let's get started. Ah. On it. I should two thousand times. Let's get started. <laughs> yeah. Right. Go. Oh, that was easy enough. No road. Yeah. Let's go. Sergeant. What in the oh. name of Andraste's sacrifice turtle is going right. on here? This should hey, be we've got a prisoner loose. Uh, yeah! There is your weakness! On your guard! This should be easy enough. Let's get started. Look at this mess! I love it! <laughs> right. Off to the guard. Come now, that defend sucks. yourself! He's trying to enjoy himself and this happens. Let's make this quick! Cannot! Sustain! This should be easy enough. There you go. That's uh... Right. Oh, man. Let's get started. As you wish. I am so slow. I'm going to no, Alistair, don't. There. Get up, Alistair. Okay. I need some potion if that's. if they have it. Yeah. Alright. I'm still super slow. Alright, where should I go now? I guess I just keep going straight. Metal door. <sighs> There's so many like different ways you can go. Oh, someone was praying. Lady Andraste, bride of... Make us save us! We're under attack! No, I didn't meant... I didn't mean to do that! Come back! Let's get started. <laughs> right, this should be easy enough. How do you wish? This should be easy enough. Wait, how did... Morgan and Liliana came? For my rescue? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I don't know how they came for me, but they did. I'm so glad. Thank you guys. On your guard. Okay. Awesome. On it. Let's get started. Money. Guard. Are you all right? 
Yes. You know, I'm almost disappointed we didn't get to try our plan. Oh well. It's okay. All right, let's let's keep going. How about here? Is there anything here? Nope. How did they even find me? They never explained. Let's get out of here. Make us breath. It's good to see you in one piece, my me friend. Me too. Indeed. I did die. We have been praying for your safe return, Warden. Well, thank you. I think I have seen as much dungeon as I ever wanted to. I can believe it. <laughs> Though I'm afraid if we do not act quickly to erode Logain's support, we may all be seeing a great deal of Fort Draken in the future. I, yeah, I bet. All I want is information on how to defeat Loghain. You have only just arrived in the city, so perhaps you are unaware of some recent events. Denerim has been in turmoil since Ostagar. Many people here are angry or grieving. Strangely, the unrest is worst in the alienage. Hmm. Few elves accompanied the army. They should have little reason to be upset, which means that Hau and my father must have given them reason. I don't know what is happening there. But I am certain my father has his hands in it. A useful lead, Anora, but you could have sent this information with your maid. That is true. I feared for my safety as Hal's prisoner. But to tell the truth, I sent Elena to you because I hoped we might join forces. You ah. need that evidence for the land's meet. But you also need a stronger candidate for the throne. You need me. And what of Alistair? I have no doubt Alistair is biddable enough. And decent. But even with his blood, he is no king. You think only I can see it? Not only that, Alistair is a Grey Warden. It will look like you are trying to put a Grey Warden on the throne, despite your claims. Huh. I am a neutral party. And I am already queen. Yeah, Anora, she is you are indeed Caelan's widow, but... I am the daughter of Ferelden's greatest general. Who do you think truly ruled this nation for the last five years? Kaelin, I am what this country needs, not an untrained king who does not even want the throne. I can help you stop my father. Consider what I have said. Mm. For now, I think I will retire to my room. Warden, when you have a moment, I ask that you speak to me in private. I don't know how I feel about that. She seems very strategic on the things that she does. Well, she's quite spirited. I remember when Loghain first brought her to Denerim. Poor Galen was a good boy, but Honora was always two steps ahead. Had him jumping like when it. she snapped since the first time she batted her eyelashes. I cannot help thinking she may be trouble, but we should keep her close all the same. Why do you think she's trouble? This is an alliance of convenience. Right. For the moment, we are united against Loghain. Be careful how much trust you place in her. I do not for a moment think Honora means to give up her power easily. Still, of course not. I would rather have her where we can watch her than actively working for Loghain. But aren't we planning to depose her? Honora was a capable administrator for Kaelin's lands, but she has not a drop of royal blood. We did not fight the Orlesians all those years just to lose our royal line in a single generation. Not when there's a surviving son of the blood. Maybe, maybe Alistair can marry Aurora? Are you serious? <laughs> no, never mind. I, I, I don't even want to hear the rest of this. You, you two just keep talking about me. I'm going to stand over here with my fingers in my ears. That would certainly <laughs> solve a lot of problems and put forth the strongest argument before the lands meet to remove Loghain from power. With Theron blood on the throne and Honora's wisdom and popularity, Ferelden could present the most united front against the Blight. Unfortunately, the marriage would never happen unless they both agreed to it. And I've seen the way Alistair looks at you. <laughs> well, why is it so important to put Merrick's son on a throne? Ferelden was first united by Kalanhad, the Silver right. Knight. For 400 years, his descendants have ruled Ferelden. That was the heritage we preserved from the Orlesians. Okay. And it is the heritage I will fight for as long as one of Kalanhad's descendants still lives. Without that to unite us, we could scatter back to warring Turniers. Ah, uh, I can understand that now. Let's talk about We certainly else. have a great deal to plan. What do you think he, he's doing in the alien age? Maker knows what that man is capable of now. 
I got of work course. to do. If I might make a suggestion, go speak with Anora. She will either be a powerful ally or a powerful enemy. And the sooner we know which she is, the better. We already know what she is. She wants to be queen and she wants to rule for us. Uh, and she wants to rule for Elden. Okay, I'm gonna try to stop by at Alien Age, see if it's open for me now. Oh, it is open for me. Oh my goodness, I'm back home. This is crazy. All this time. Hello there. We are grateful. The compact is renewed. Something out of place here. Someone's coming. Get away from me, you crazy knife here. Are you all right? Just stay away from me. I'm leaving, all right? What? What is happening? Spare a silver for a war veteran? Well, I give you one sovereign. Hope this will get you off the streets. Oh, Andraste, bless you, sir. I won't forget your face. No, I won't. Aw. Official notice. Bear arm is strictly prohibited. Elves who have swords will die upon them. Feral dog. Hmm. What happened to my Tree home? Planted in the middle of misery. Okay. It rather beckons a single sad little tear, does it not? Okay, let me open this door. What now? Oh, it's a locked chest. Just like you wanted. How about this? What's next? A more... There's nothing much in here, actually. All right, uh... Worried about this plague? Go Elf home! Elf Crowding around the plague. here is what will make good riddance. I've got children at home. I can't wait out here for another day. So go home. The best thing you can do for your children is not trust these charlatans. Everyone remain calm. We will help as many as we can today, so long as we can do this in an orderly fashion. Oh, you're helping us, are you, Shem? Like <laughs> Valendrian and my uncle Sirian, you helped them, didn't you? Help them never to be seen again. We've explained this to you before, girl. More whining will not persuade us to let you into the quarantine to carry plague back out to the alienage. Quit trying to get us all killed, Shiani. Some of us have still got things to live for. If this spell of theirs works, why are half the people they quarantine perfectly healthy? Shiani, is that really you? I don't believe it. <laughs> Maker's breath. Hi, friend. They said all the Grey Wardens died with the king. Everyone thought Valendrian even held a funeral for you. Cousin, you have no idea that the things that happened after your wedding... I'm babbling, aren't I? I'm so happy to see you. Wedding? You're married? Uh, uh, the wedding never actually took place. Still, you never told me you were betrothed. What happened? Ah, uh, well, um, there was rapists, and we got the wrong cake, and it was disastrous, pretty much. I... all right, that does sound bad. So much <laughs> has happened. It's good you're home. Have you seen Saurus? He's at your house. He was staying with Alarith, but... Well, things are a little tense right now. A lot of people blame him. Can you believe that? They blame Saurus, as if he were responsible for what the new Arl did to us. Well, how's dead? All these gifts, and it's not even my naming day. You just don't care how much trouble you bring down on us, do you? Must be nice to be above your own people. Who above brought Vaughn here people? in the first place? Tell me what we did to deserve that, and maybe I'll start caring what you think, idiot. Elves wind up dead in the market gutters every day over a wrong word or a look or nothing at all. That's how it's always been. We fight back or we submit, but it doesn't change anything. I'm not about to shed a tear over that butcher house death. If I could, I'd kick his grave marker and dance on his ashes. <laughs> I haven't seen my father anywhere. Uh, well, maybe we should go somewhere so you can be sitting down when I tell you this. Oh, no. Well, you know I'm not easily shaken. Is he dead? I know. 
You don't flinch from anything, cousin. But the Tevinters quarantined your father yesterday. Oh. I told him not to go to the hospice. Not one elf they've taken in there has come out again. Who knows what's become of them? They have my father while I'm going in there. I knew you'd do something, cousin. Make her watch over you. You will go no further. Um... I can fake a cough. Varys! Serator! This one has the plague! Take her to quarantine, then. We are far too busy to be spared. Of course. Come this way, elf. The rest of you can go no further. There are no visitors allowed in quarantine. Uh, forget it. I'm going in on my terms. To arms! Protect the hospice! I said to right. Maker's name is this. Ah! Let's get him first. Show me what you've got. Let's get started. He's almost dead. Okay, cool. He needs to die first. Maker. All right, cool. Not work out. I'm Let's unable go. to do that. Oh, Warden. Uh, yeah. Tell me. What is this? Office notice. Oh, it's the store. Let me sell a bunch of my stuff. Well, well, look who's here. Welcome home. When Thank we heard you. what happened at Ostagar, we assumed the worst. Have you been to see Shiani and Soros yet? And would it kill you to let us know you're alive once in a while? What, is a Grey Warden too important to visit family? No. Where's Soros? He's staying at your father's house. I'm not surprised you haven't seen him yet. Okay. Uh, is something wrong with Soros? There are good people in this world who just can't sleep nights unless they can put a reason to everything that happens. They had to blame somebody for the soldiers. And you weren't here, Lass. They pointed their mm -hmm. fingers at Soros, said it was the two of you who brought this down in our heads. They ah. spit, sworn, and thrown rocks at the lad. And that's a friendlier folk. Soros has been staying out of sight lately. Oh, that poor him. Okay, well, are you still in business? I might have a few things for sale. Off the record, of course. 